In this video, you will gonna learn how to import WordPress content from another blog in two easy steps. Hi, I'm Robert from tmile.com and I welcome you to our channel. When we talk about importing WordPress content, we simply mean copying over your posts, pages, media and other elements from one website to another. Before you start moving content from one site to another, you'll want to first back up both sites. That way, if anything goes wrong after you import everything, you'll have a recent snapshot that you can restore if necessary. Once your backups are in place, you can move on to the first step. To get started, visit the backend of the blog with content you want to export. Yes, you need admin credentials in order to proceed to export the content, so forget about using instruction in this video to steal content from other blogs. Then proceed to the Tools – Export tab. Inside you'll find a list of all the elements of your WordPress website. Simply choose what type of content you want to export. For this example, we are going to stick to the posts only, so we'll click on Post and pick All for every option underneath, except Start Date. For those fields, you'll want to choose Arrange manually to make sure you won't miss any posts. Alternatively, you could choose to export only a specific author's posts or a specific category of content. Now click on the Download Export File button at the bottom of the page. This will instruct WordPress to download an XML file to your computer that contains all of the data for your WordPress posts. Next, you'll need to log in to the backend of your new site, the site where you want to import all of your downloaded content. Navigate to the Tools, Import tab, Look for the WordPress option, then click Install Now. This will set up the WordPress Importer plugin. When complete, you'll see a new button under the same WordPress option called Run Importer. Click this and the next screen will prompt you to upload an XML file from your computer. Select Choose File, find the file you downloaded during the first step then click on the Upload File and Import button. Before WordPress imports your posts, it will ask you whether you want to bring them in under the name of their original author or assign them to other writer. This choice is completely up to you. There is also an option that reads Download and Import File Attachments, which will enable you to import your post's images. You'll probably want to enable this option unless you don't want to carry over your images or you want to add them manually later, which can be a core. When you've made your selections, click Submit. Depending on how much content you are importing, this can take a while. However, WordPress will let you know when the process is done, at which point you'll have successfully imported your first blog's content to your second.